In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the best two-point conversion play in Madden 23 out of the Washington Offensive eBook. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, if you want to get my entire Washington Offensive eBook, make sure that you join my Patreon. The link to sign up for that is going to be in the description of this video. Gun tight is really powerful. It's really powerful inside the five, inside the red zone. And I wanted to share with you my favorite play right now for any kind of two-point conversion uh, play. This is really, really powerful. So uh, the play that we're going to be utilizing here is going to be slot post out of gun tight. We've got a couple different variations. I'm going to give you two setups in this video that I think are really powerful for the red zone. Uh, so slot post out of tight. It's quickly becoming one of my favorite plays. Um, and it's basically the setup is this. We're going to uh, in route our running back. We're going to flat the outside left receiver. And then we're going to flat the outside right receiver. And then from there, if we want to put Godwin on a slant, that is perfectly fine. Okay, You don't have to do that. The concept will still work if you don't. But basically, it's just crisscross concept. And what you'll see here is against man-to-man. Um, if Otten will cooperate with me, this post will cook man in, inside the five. And if you have short and a lead, it's going to be a little bit more consistent for you um, than if you're using like a 68 overall or whatever I'm using in this in this breakdown. But you see there, my 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 cross, it's just crisscross, you know. So if their user goes to the crosser, then you throw the slant. If you if or, um, I'm sorry, if their user goes to the post, then you throw the slant. If their user goes to the uh, slant then you throw the post okay um, so you'll see here and again good old practice mode wouldn't be a wouldn't be a practice mode tip if I didn't get absolutely screamed at by them only sending a, a completely stock max coverage play uh, but anyways here so you see here this is the setup um, these flats are gonna pull out all the zones and it's gonna allow you to work the whole middle of the field so you see here just high point that post in the back of the end zone you could also free form it if you can't catch a high point post but generally speaking, most people are going to be fine with this high point. Um, you know, Casper is really good for this play. Um, Shockey, Gonzalez, they're all fine. And, you know, again here, you know, if, if it's that covered, you want to high ball and go make a play. Um, generally speaking, it's not going to be that covered. Uh, now, most people are going to um, want to play man. And that's where the secondary setup come from. So everything's the same. The only difference is instead of putting this, we're going to leave this guy on his uh, crossing route. And instead of putting this kind of flat, we're just going to motion him outside. The reason I like to do this is because it gives me an opportunity. If I see one-on-one -on -one out here, I can go do something like that. Okay. So this forces them to have to adjust to me in the red zone. It doesn't matter if it's, you know, it really doesn't matter what defense they call. Okay. If they are in anything where I see that Mike Evans is one-on-one, -on -one, I want to try to throw him the ball. So like here, one-on-one, -on -one, boom, touchdown, okay? That right there is a really, really powerful piece of this play inside the five. So because of that, we still have our crisscross concept with our with our crosser and our post and our running back. Our running back is going to sneak out so that if they're in like a cover two or something like that, um, you'll see here this running back throw can get in a really sweet spot against this, okay? Um, so the yellows are going to have to respect the running back. And then what that's going to mean is, let's say here, you know, again, you're going to see that this post um, is going to be, you know, something that you can hit in the back of the end zone right there, okay? So you can highball the post uh, as well. Most people won't be in zone at all this year, to be honest, because it's really not that powerful of a, of a coverage defense. Um you know, but what this does is you'll see here, flats get pulled out. I have just a lot of windows to be able to throw the running back over the middle. So that's what this play does uh, for me. Another thing that you could do if you are getting a lot of zone is you could flat both of these dudes and then wheel the running back into like the soft spot, if you will, of the zone. So something like this. And again, if I'm getting a lot of zone, he's going to just wheel right up in there. He's going to pull that deep half, and then now I can throw that little crisscross in route. So this is a very simple play, but it's very effective uh, inside the five. You know, something like this is really, really good this year uh, because the running back wheel is super, super underrated. Uh, another thing I wanted to quickly point out about running back wheels, and this is primarily like an Eric Dickerson-specific thing, but if you're playing man and they're going to play you um, – 
they're going to man up the running back. What you want to do is you just want to high ball, pass it outside the wheel, and you want to ag it as well. So you can do this with Eric Dickerson. Our taller running backs are a little better for this. But again, just high balling is, is in general a really effective tactic. Um, and then with kind of mixing in, whether it be the running back or it be, you know, whoever. So you can kind of like fake it. So they think you're throwing to the to the high ball, but in reality you're throwing to the running back. So they're going to over adjust to stop the high ball, and then you go with something like this. So this is how you can kind of play a little chess uh, inside the five. I think that this running back wheel is super underrated this year from tight. Uh, and then again, if they're going to – so then what this is going to do is they now have to guard it. They now have to really – you know, have some zones or have some user help over on that sideline. And then that's going to leave things like, um, you know, this backside completely open for if it's, if it's covered, throw a high point. If it's open, just throw them open, okay? But this is a really good little red zone money play. Um, it breaks down zone really well. It breaks down man really well. You can kind of change up how you want to attack it. You could put this out route right here. This out route's still going to pull the flats. But you see that if they don't have cover two, then I can throw that quick throw out route. So that was cover four or cover three. Let me show you cover four real quick. I do think cover four is something that you might see more of uh, in the coming days. But this hard flat there, and now my wheel goes right into a soft spot. So this is a very good little play. Um, and there's a lot of variations of this setup that can be very effective. But the core is just this simple crisscross applesauce concept that is really underrated and really effective. You see how good this slant is. So they're going to have to choose one, and normally the other one is going to be wide open. I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you want to learn my entire Washington offensive ebook, which includes gun tight, gun bunch, open tight end, gun bunch, as well as some additional formations we're going to be updating in the coming weeks, make sure that you're in our Patreon. $10 is going to get you access to everything, including all the updates to the ebooks. We drop new stuff in there every single week for you guys, whether it be a brand new ebook or a new update. So make sure you're in the Patreon. 10 bucks gets you access to everything. The link is in the description. So if you want to sign up, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you at the Patreon page.